Hello YouTube pipe community. Wait for pipes here, Michael. Thought I'd take you on a journey today. On a bike trip. We'll see how this goes. I'm uh, riding along here. <laughs> Gotta go to the Segway Clinic, which is two miles to my east and I'm uh, got this here little bicycle here well it's not old but as you can see the springtime it's looking pretty beautiful the rain we've been having it's been uh, Traffic happening here. Go to the park here. Take the shortcut through the park. Some ducks and Canada geese. Hey, goosies. I don't know how long my battery is going to last, but looks like they're going to put some park benches in. That'll be nice. Hope I'm in low gear. Find out. Hmm. Yep. Beautiful park. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm not sure how long the battery's going to last. But, uh, I guess that'll be a test. I've ordered a new battery for this phone, and I got it. But I don't have, oh, well, there's a memorial. But I don't have a... Uh, screwdriver for the iPhone 5s to take out the two screws that so yesterday I found uh, a kit for three dollars and ninety nine cents so I ordered that so I can uh, put the new battery in that I've got for this phone because I was not going to pay a uh, hundred dollars or ninety eight bucks to get a uh, go to an iPhone or an Apple dealer and have them put a new one in it. What the heck with that. Anyway. Beautiful. Roses will be coming up soon. Keep an eye on where I'm going here. I take a shortcut through the park. Yeah, I'm kind of curious as to how long the battery's going to last. Hopefully long enough. I'm smoking my Canadian with some Sutliff Vulcan 2. I like it because you can really taste the Orientals in it. Here's a Blue Jay. Honk, honk, hey, Blue Jay. Bumpy. These tires on this bike, I, I got inflated to, it says 40 to 60 pounds. Well, I tried them at 40, and there's just no way. It was way too hard to pedal. So then I tried them at 50, and it still wasn't the best, so I... I put 60 in them. No, it's maximum was 65. We've got a duck here. And I put 60 
There's Chippewa Creek down there, or what they call Welland River. Some beautiful, uh, I think those are cherry, wild cherry trees or something. But yeah, that's, uh, we'll be crossing that up here in the midgy. I hope uh, the camera lasts. It was the cold weather that was killing the battery so quickly before, so hopefully, hopefully uh, it lasts a little while. Anyway, let's see, we're five minutes and 40 seconds in. The distance I went so far would take me about 10 minutes if I was walking. the bridge. This is Niagara Street here. Right here I'll try to get the creek. There's the creek. Or what's called the Welland River. This is usually a really busy road. Duck. It actually goes underneath the Welland Canal here, what we're about to see in a minute. This is the Welland Canal, and you see that structure over there? The, the Welland River goes underneath the canal right over there and on its way. Anyway, this is the old Welland uh, Canal here. It's not used anymore other than recreation. Just tamping my pipe here with my other finger. So good. I have no idea how much battery I have left. If it dies, then you'll know what happened. <laughs> and again, I'm not live, so. paint pretty soon I think yeah there you go uh, young fella named Lanley Potter who uh, fell he climbed up the bridge and fell at that spot and uh, was killed of course unfortunately don't know if it was on purpose or what Oh, he's going through. I'll try to put a damper on that. Well, they got their signals on, so I'm going. Instead of trying to stop. Um, 
fairly busy today. At least it's main. this pipe in my mouth. I'm gonna take it out for a second. There. Give my jaw a rest. I don't know if I'm really supposed to be on the sidewalks, but I do it all the time. Easier to go around. <laughs> and uh, I think you will pharmacy. And there's a lot of French here in Welland, mainly uh, French and Italians here in this city, or what's left of the city. There's some nice murals and stuff. I better pay attention here. business has been around for a long, long time, since the 60s, I believe. And over there, behind that thermography clinic thing, that place back there, I fell and broke my leg back when I was 19 years old and it, at a party, right back in there. And it took me a, a long time to figure out where the hell that happened, but uh, anyway. I see we're still recording and we're 13 minutes in. Still holding my pipe. I gotta come to a complete stop here. There we go. As I can go. Smile. Yeah, and every place has a hasty market. <laughs> There's no exception of well. I managed to keep my pipe going, you can see. <laughs> anyway, this is a, a Norco bicycle I'm riding. This is the new courthouse up here. Oh, so that's the old Atlas Steel over there. This is the new uh, new courthouse. It used to be a school there, and they tore that down and uh, just built.
built. Well, it took them about a year, I guess, and they built it. He's getting close. You are 15 minutes. So far, so good on the battery. is where I had a car pull out in front of me and I went right over the handlebars last year. Last year was a bad year for me. I almost got hit several, several times. <laughs> but I learned to not be in a big hurry. There's a peak. Oh, nobody there. <laughs> McAlpine Avenue. VIP Pharmacy. That's not where I'm going. I used to have to go in there. That's where it used to be. I used to be in there. Not anymore. Sidewalk must just be at the right frequency of my bicycle. No, it's actually the one up here a bit. And my bike just starts vibrating like crazy. Yeah, this is the sidewalk right here. Just the only part in the whole area that I ride that just something about the bike and the spacing of the expansion joints in the sidewalk shakes this thing. Well, here we are. I need it to the Segway Clinic where I can now get my Suboxone. <laughs> so. Anyway, that's the bike, my Norco, and I'm here, I made it, so uh, thanks for tagging along, take care of you two, pipe community.